This video is brought to you by Ducked Off Radio. Uh, 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 uh. Make moves like Kyrie, hating niggas always crying. Cocky nigga, my sign is Leo, like the Capri. Oh, pull up, here I go. <laughs> Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Darius and Bay Job. Another reaction video on the day, man. Look, I'm about to react to um Eminem, Slim Shady. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Eminem, he got to be one of the, the 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 greatest. He got to be one of the best artists, um, in hip hop. Period. You know what I'm saying? He up there. He he one of the best. And then if you put him in his own category, he is the best white rapper. He the best. You know what I'm saying? When it come down to white rappers. But, um, so Eminem, I guess, he dropped a project or whatever a few, a month ago or so, you know what I'm saying? And one of the songs, he, he was dissing everybody and Snoop Dogg was one of them. So I guess he gonna explain why he really was going at Snoop Dogg's neck, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, let's get into the video. There's also a, uh, a reference where, not even a reference, where, you know, you're, you're, you're talking about or speaking to Snoop in the sense of, you know, he, he, you don't need to be dogged by him. And I, I didn't know exactly when or where, what this new dude that made you put this line in this song. Well, a couple of months ago, you know, he was doing an interview with The Breakfast Club. Somehow my name got brought up and he was saying things about, you know, I'm not in his top 10. And everything he said, by the way, was fine, like up to a point. You know, when he like, like, hey, I've never said like him saying that, that he, I'm not in his top 10 because there's some rappers from the 90s that I I can't fuck with that you know a a him saying dre made the best version of me absolutely like why would i have a problem with that like if would i be here without dre fuck no i wouldn't the rappers he mentioned from the 90s krs1 bigetti kane g rap like i've never said i could fuck with them i never said that you know what i'm saying so it's all like everything was good until like hit, you know it was more like i think it was more about the tone he was using that caught me off guard because i'm like yo where is this coming from i just saw you like what the fuck you know what i'm saying like it, just, it threw me for a loop again i probably could have got past the whole tone and everything but it was the last statement when you said as far as music i can live without i can live without that shit now you're just now you're being disrespectful for like it just caught me off guard. I wasn't ready for that, and people started hitting me up about it. Like, oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? And, and I didn't know what to do about it at first, cause I just it it it, it confused me because I'm like, no, bro, same team. We're on the same team. Like, what the fuck? And <laughs> I have never in my career, my entire career, ever said a disrespectful word about Snoop Dogg. I mean, what the fuck? Like his impact on hip hop, like I can't, I can't front on that. But it's like, at what point does it start becoming like, okay, now you, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. My top ten, top five ain't gonna be the same as his. But everyone's entitled to their opinion, so how could I be mad at that? I wasn't mad about the opinion. It was after that. It was, the, you know, that the very last statement was like, oh, what the fuck? Like, damn, dog. Like, really? But, you know, I said what I said. I addressed it. I felt like, what, what it, like I said what I needed to say. And I'm not saying the two sides, but it definitely is... Uh... It's a song that's going to be talked about for a minute, man. This is Zeus, music to be murdered by Side B, the deluxe edition. Eminem's with us. Shape 45. All right, that's the end of that little, uh, that little clip. Now, look, um, I understand where Eminem is coming from, you know what I'm saying? But then again, he's saying that, um, look, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. So he right. Everybody top 10 going to be different. But then again, it's like, Snoop was like, I can't listen to that shit. You know, it, that's when it become disrespectful. You feel me? So he took it a little bit personal. And, um, Snoop do be saying some wild, crazy shit sometimes. But so, you know what I'm saying? So you can't even like, you can't even say like Snoop was wrong or whatever. Everybody entitled to, everybody got a voice. You feel me? Everybody can say what they want to say, think how they want to think, do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? It's called freedom of speech, freedom. And, by him getting on the song and saying what he got to say, you know what I'm saying? That's freedom right there, you know what I'm saying? And then he just did it uh, in, in his artist, like, artiste way, you know what I'm saying? He jumped on a, on a song. That's what he do. He make music. So, hey, I think um uh, uh, Eminem and Snoop Dogg beef should um should go down, you know what I'm saying? Simple as that, you know what I'm saying? It, it should be a Snoop and, and M beef, you feel me? That'll be... 
or, or a versus battle or something. You know what I'm saying? We need if it's smoke out there, it got to get clear. You know what I'm saying? It's it's more content for the the hip hop community. You know what I'm saying? But um, but yeah, that's the end of the video. Get in the comment box. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Pull up on the scene with the whole team. You like what's that smell? I'm like that's that sour thing. Bet you already know that we smoke and never smoke it. Reggie only poke and watch me pull up on the scene with the whole team. You like what's that smell? I'm like that's that sour day. But you already know that we smoke and never smoke it. Reggie only poke and watch me pull up.